Right, welcome back to the channel guys and as promised the second part of the Death Smiles series gonna be playing Death Smiles 2 today really enjoyed the first one not played through the second one as of yet had a quick go but I think it's quite appropriate if you have a look it's a Christmas themed game and we are only two days away from Christmas so not a bad time to be uploading or playing this one. Once again, same as the previous game, I have no idea of the back history of the anime slash manga type thing going on here. Um, I just know I have to shoot lots of people and dodge lots of bullets. So it looks like this young girl was tricked into killing grandpa. Mr. Dior. No real explanation on how he did trick her, though, eh? Well, at least you get some sort of intro. It gives you an introduction to the actual game and the story. You don't get that with many shooters, do you? I'll stick with Windica, as I did previously on the last game. And just for uh, educational purposes, so I get through the video and the game. I'll stick on level one. I'm saying, I say educational purposes. I just want to play it on easy. My my old man reflexes are not what they once was. Yeah, grandpa's took a beating. So there's a different, uh, definite difference in graphical style you can see with this one and the first. Although I do like it, it looks a little bit more mobile game based than the first one. In terms of how it's, the graphics and how it looks. I mean, it's still nice. And for anyone that wants to know, it plays exactly the same. The controls are the same. If you're playing the Switch version, the A button shoots right, the B button shoots left, and um, X is for your bomb. So if you've got experience with the first one, you'll go straight into this knowing what to do. Oh, really? So I've got to take Rudolph out two days before Christmas. Oh, there he is. Snuck up behind me. He's got a red nose, so it's got to be Rudolph, hasn't it? Well, Rudolph, you're going down. Your energy's almost finished. You're out of here. You won't see Christmas. All of them? Don't be lazy, Windica. Of course, all of them. She catches on quick, doesn't she? So 
City of Despair. Sounds like London. <laughs> I've grown up in London, so I'm not knocking any Londoners. I am a Londoner. It's just uh, a bit different these days to how I grew up. I mean, although I'm playing this on level one, which is uh, easy mode, so far, I have to say, this is considerably easier than the first game. There seems to be a lot less to dodge. You know, I've probably jinxed myself now. There you go, look, game's speeding up. I'm sure something's forthcoming. Oh, he looks a bit serious. No. He was all bark. Okay, so Godzilla has turned into a building. So it looks like with this one, each uh, boss gets some sort of cutscene before they come in, which doesn't happen on the first game. So that's nice, you get an introduction as to what you're about to obliterate. And there you go, that's the first note of the four. I think it's four. So I think this will be my last uh, Nintendo Switch gameplay video for a little while. Um, since I've started doing the gameplays, I've been exclusive to the Switch. I think I'm going to mix it up a little bit and um, after Christmas when I do a few more, I'm going to be using the Super Console X for various systems. So if there is anything you'd like to see, then let me know in the comments. And I'm also going to be hooking up the Evercade to the capture card. So if there's any Evercade fans out there and you want to see any games, uh, once again, just let me know in the comments area. I've got a complete collection on the Evercade, so I will be able to play any game uh, of your choice. And obviously with the Super Console X pretty much covering uh, the majority of systems, um, there's a good chance I'll be able to cover games that you request in one way or another. Um, to all the collectors out there, I do know that emulation via items such as the Super Console X might be against what we do in terms of collecting and I understand it. Personally, I just haven't got the room these days to amass a huge collection. So something like uh, the Super Console X and a few other emulation devices I have, uh, they're, they're essential to someone like myself. Right, so this is like Nokia Snake on steroids. She's 
chat to everyone that's old enough to remember Nokia Snake. It's what we had back then. Late 90s is what we had. And we did make the most of it. The levels on this uh, part two do seem to be shorter. I don't know if I'm imagining that or not, but yeah, they do seem to be shorter than the first game. Okay, so we've got some uh, George Romero type zombies here. Now, I think this is a first. I don't think I've ever seen chandeliers fall from the ceiling in a shmup. A platformer, a run and gun, that sort of thing, yeah. But shmup, never seen it. Alright, surely it's got to be a boss now. Those hands were a bit annoying. <laughs> what is that? Am I fighting a PS1 cutscene? I want to know what he's called. Nice older man. Some of these Japanese games, uh, they're strange. If he's such a nice older man, why is he firing about 700 bullets at his foot? Anyway, put him to rest. As I mentioned in the previous video, these are, as most shoot 'em ups are, these are quite short games. Um, so I would imagine I'm fairly close to the end now. And so far, I must say, I prefer Death Smiles 1, which does seem to be the uh, 
general consensus online when I've been reading about the two games. Um, and so far, I'd have to agree. And in no way is this a bad game. It's, it's still just as fun and just as good, but I think I'm preferring the first one so far. Still, an absolute uh, essential for shoot 'em up fans on the Switch. And yeah, like I said, the price I got this cartridge for under twenty pound. Um, I'm really chuffed with that because I've seen it go for you know in what I consider to be silly money. What's this? War of the Worlds? Yeah, this guy looks like he didn't make it into a Godzilla film. So, you know, he ended up here in Death Smiles. Speaking of Godzilla, there's a new one in the cinema. Um, tried to convince one of my boys to come with me. Uh, he's not having none of it because I told him he has to read subtitles. He's not at the age yet where he thinks that's going to be enjoyable. So I might have to sneak out on my own at some point over Christmas uh, and go and watch that whilst everyone is being lazy and sitting around. I'm sure they won't miss me. Oh. Yep, it's your fault. You did. You killed him. It is. Just tell her the truth. Satan Claus. Oh, I didn't notice. Is that what that guy's name is? The one that um, was at the beginning. Okay. So as we say, it's the 23rd of December as I'm playing this. And it's two days before Christmas. So it's quite apt that I'll be... Uh, Saving Christmas at the end of this game and defeating Satan Claus. Yeah, as I was saying, look, it's not a long game. Final level now. Bewitched Palace. There's something quite wrong about that image right there. So I'm fighting these uh, chess pieces, it seems. Not quite sure what they've got to do with Christmas. I would have fought final level, final level, sorry, and you're fighting Satan Claus. Be a lot more Christmas inspired. Instead, I'm fighting pawns and knights.
Come on, enough of the chess pieces already. That is a lot of bullets. Please, no more chess pieces. All right, back to the snakes. What on earth are those things? Now that's creepy. I don't like them at all. It's like Kid Icarus. It's just taken some form of <laughs> amphetamine. <laughs> yep, it's, it's Kid Icarus on one. They, they are, they're creepy. I don't like them. And again, shouldn't I be fighting some sort of uh, Christmas related enemies on this final part? Instead I'm fight Ah, uh, here we go. Instead I'm fighting um Jacked up Kid Icaruses. I don't think he's gonna listen. See? Don't say yes. Tell him no. Well, at least you didn't say yes. This guy's goofy. He's hamming it up to the maximum. And that's okay. Yeah, let's see what you got up your sleeve then, Mr. Claus. Okay. Fair enough. Look at his fingernails. He's hardly human. But we don't give up. Ah. Yeah. This is where, I mean, I don't think it's been much of a bullet hell game up until this point. You can clearly see here. Oh my God. Look at that. There's some pros out there, though. 
that will just look at that and think that's an everyday um, type of shooter to them. Not to me. That's scary. Anyway, these have gone up. Unless there's some sort of other boss that comes from uh, the other world, it looks like that's a wrap. So in the first game, you have to make a decision at the end. I'm wondering if that's going to be the case here. And you have to decide whether or not to save Grandpa. Oh, hello. I wonder if it's like um, a bit like Pet Cemetery. They bring Grandpa back, but he's not the same. No, Grandpa starts going around with meat cleavers and killing people in the town. See, she doesn't tell them that part. She just grants a wish. I do love the first Pet Cemetery and the book. Not so much the remake and that ridiculous Origins film that just recently come out. That was Pony. Terrible, terrible. Oh, it's alright. He just had a headache. So no decisions to make on this one. Okay. Well, Merry Christmas to you, Grandad. And it's nice that you've been able to make it. Oh, hang on. Yeah, I'm asking for something. A Christmas party. She's definitely a pure child, isn't she? Any other kid would have been PS5, Grandad. Well, kids, if you get one, this moany old man's going to tell you they were a big disappointment. Bar humbug. Right, so that's Death Smiles 2. So that's one and two now on my playlist. Uh, as I said, I'm going to be doing a few more games. I'm going to have a look into the Evercade titles and also emulating some stuff on my super console x so if you've got any suggestions recommendations please let us know in the comments and i will do my best to do some videos um, with what you mentioned until then guys you have a good christmas and i will see you shortly after take care and uh, enjoy the gifts and get fat eat the dinner and make someone else do the washing up take care